Hey guys, welcome to UTSA Prep Summer 2020. Um, we have ourselves here in week three where we're going to be talking about neurobiology or um, also known as neuroscience, right? So um, neurobiology is the study of the nervous system and really focuses on how the brain works, right? So specifically with this week's project, you are going to be discovering and working with tests that analyze the way you and your volunteers have a preference for a side of your body. So are you left-sided? Are you right-sided dominant, right? And some vocabulary words that you will be hearing throughout this um, project is gonna be sidedness, um, it's going to be laterality, it's going to be left-right dominant. So in this project, through the test that you will be conducted, conducting with your volunteers, you're going to find out if you are left, um, right side dom dominant or left side dominant. Um, yeah, so what this means is oftentimes when you write with your right hand, then you are going to be right sided in your eye, your ears, your, and your feet. Um, this goes the same for left dominant or left sidedness. So if somebody's left-handed, their dominant side will usually be their left side. So they'll look out more of their left side of the eye or their ear and they'll step with their left foot first um, or if they're stepping on something, right? Um, so though this may be the case, sometimes it might differ from people to people. And sometimes it might be split in the middle. If, and more than likely, a lot of times it's the, the individuals that are left-handed that will have um, the ability to also use their right hand. And this is because, especially back in the day, they used to think that left-handedness was, I guess, wrong. And so they wanted every student to write with their right hand, even if this student was left-handed. So maybe somebody who's left-handed would still write with their right hand, but they are still left side dominant, which means they would um, maybe shake your hand with their left side, eat with their left hand, right? Or step starting with their left foot. Um, what does this have to do with the brain? Well, because of the functions of the body is tied into the way your brain works, especially with neurobiology, um, the, there are different parts of your brain that are hemispheres. So you have your right hemisphere, you have your left hemisphere. Now, when somebody's processing language, right, whether learning it or hearing it or trying to speak it, and they're processing language, if you're right-handed, then you're using the left side of your hemisphere. If you're left-handed, then you're using the right side of your hemisphere which is interesting. Um, but sometimes a left-handed person can use both, okay? Um, so yeah, so this is what uh, this week's project is going to be about. You're gonna be doing a series of tests on volunteers and even yourself to see if they're left side dominant or right side dominant. Um, let's see. Let's talk a little bit about the actual project that you will be doing. For this project, you're gonna need some materials, um, but we encourage you to find other materials that you could use to think outside the box, right? But the materials that we have listed for you are very simple and easy to find. They're gonna consist of this toilet paper, or this paper towel roll. You can use a toilet paper roll as well. This is gonna be used for your eye. Uh, so in other words, you're gonna use it like you would a telescope. you have some sort of writing material because you're gonna be asking your participants, your volunteers, to use it to write with. So then you'll figure out if they're right-handed or left-handed. 
um, pen, pencils, whatever it might be, whatever you have on, on you. You're also going to use coins, and this is going to be to check the foot. You'll simply place them on the floor, and I have a little demonstration that I did with my son that you will see. Um, place them on the floor, ask your participant to step on it, and see which foot that they choose to do that with. And last but not least, this is not a phone, but pretend it is, um, will be for the ear. If you have a phone, you ask your participant, pretend it's ringing, and answer your phone, and see what ear they put it up to, okay? Those are the materials that we're going to use. Now, along with the materials that you'll be using for the test, you're gonna be recording everything in your STEM journal, right? This is my STEM journal. I'm not quite done. Um, in fact, there's more stuff that I wanna to add to it, some flowers and tape it over, but this is something that I have so far. Um, and as you can see, it does have um, used pages, so I kinda of just found a place for, for what we're doing today. When you look at your STEM journal, you're gonna to wanna to record everything that you're doing in the exact same format that we started with in week two. So as you can see here, I have my parts highlighted. We have the heading, where your name and everything should be, um, your guided question, right? Um, research notes will go here. And there's an area for vocabulary for this week, and the vocabulary words will be listed in your student instructions that you will get in the email, okay? Now, as far as, let's see, your data collection and observations, you're going to draw your own data collection table. This is the one that I have. You can do any kind of table that makes sense to you. I know you can't really see too well, but I put the test that you're doing on the side. I did not label the materials, but I put them by hand, foot, eye, ear, so you can write down whether they're right or left dominant, and the people are up here. So you'll have your volunteers write their names. So this was my son, Roman, my husband, Raymond, and then my mother, Rhonda, okay? And so depending on the material that you're choosing for that time, the penny that they're stepping on, the toilet paper roll or the paper towel roll that they're looking through. Let's say if it's the hand, then they're writing their name. What, what hand did they use to write their name? Roman did his right, Raymond did, Raymond did his right, and Rhonda did her left. She is left-handed. So as you go down the line, you're writing which hand which foot they use, which eye they use, and which ear, right? At the very bottom, I wrote down the material list because that's gonna be very important, right? You wanna include everything in your observations. So I put um, toilet paper roll, pencil, penny, phone. On this other side, you are going to list your reflections and deductions. I have a sentence stem here that says, I found out that. And in this area, you're really wanted, wanting to connect the research that you did and the research portion, portion is in the Google Slides or the PDF version of the Google Slides that we will have you um, click the link on your student instructions. Um, the whole Google Slides consists of a little bit of information, but links so that you can click on takes you to websites that you will read yourself and really pull some information that you find interesting or that sticks to you, right? Like what's standing out to you? Put it here. There will also be videos um, that you will be able to watch and a really, really cool 3D, virtual 3D interaction of a brain and how it's working that you guys can kind of click around and play with. Um, all that is your research section, and you're writing that here. So when you do your tests, and then you come over here to your reflection and deduction, you're pulling your data collection, your tests, and the research you did, and you're trying to figure out what does, what is the, what does all this mean to you, right? What, what can you deduce from it? What kind of information? What did you just learn? Um, this bottom 
section, further inquiry, is for stuff that wasn't really quite answered for you. So what are you still interested in? Did it make sense for you? Um, if not, it's totally fine. This is also a feedback portion. So if something wasn't connecting for you and you needed more clarity, this is something where you would write down questions, okay? And so questions that you have about what's going on with the brain when you are left dominant, left side dominant, right? Or whatever questions that you might have, even besides the, the project. Hi guys, so, so we're gonna be doing a little project. My mom's recording me. Um, first, hold on. First, what we got here is our setup of the materials. We have a phone, a paper towel roll, a, a pencil. pencil. So I'm gonna use a marker though. But he's gonna use a marker. And then a, a dime or an, a penny, any kind of nickel. And that's gonna be for the foot um, test. So right now we're checking his handedness. So he's gonna write his name. And as you can see, he is right-handed. Yay. Great. All right. Now let's get the tube and look through it. And that is going to be his right No, it's left. Well. Oh, is it your left? Huh. It is your left. Interesting. All right, guys. So he's right-handed, but he used his left eye. Okay, mm -hmm. now let's pick penny or dime. Penny. Penny, and go ahead and step on it. Left. That's with your left. Left as well. It does any matter. I can do my right or left at the same thing. It's like 99 with my left and 100 with my right. Yeah. So okay. So it just feels the same. Now let's add, let's pretend like somebody's calling you on the phone. Pick it up, mm. and that's. Hey, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that quick little video that I recorded of my son. He was one of my volunteers, um, just one of many that I did. It says to do five, but please feel free to do more. Um, before I let you go, I want you guys to know that we are going to encourage you to keep posting any questions in this YouTube video down below in the comment section because we're gonna be really pulling your questions and answering them from that area. I know some of you guys are using email, but it's better to use YouTube because everybody can see them and you have four instruct instructors that are helping you out during this summer. Um, also, with that in mind, the questions that you guys are asking us, we notice that some of you have the same question over and over, so, one of your other instructors, Maria, will be posting every Wednesday a Q&A um, video that addresses all those questions. So stay tuned. You'll be getting this material soon. Um, on Wednesday, we will post another video on YouTube, and it will have a Q&A section. So hope you all had fun engaging in this project, and we look forward to all your comments and feedback. Remember, don't forget to post.